Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, as the chairman mentioned, you know, we're focused on the task at head, but uh, on behalf of the chairman and the Democratic caucus, uh, we want to extend our condolences to all of those who suffered uh, during the uh, tornadoes. Um, uh, incredibly tragic, and for those folks who are dealing with this during the holiday season, uh, our hearts go out to them. Uh, as the chairman mentioned, we're dealing with some uh, very weighty topics this week, but it's not lost on us uh, the week that we had uh, last week as well, dealing with the debt limit, passing the National Defense Authorization Act. Uh, this Congress continues to get things done. Uh, yesterday, as the chairman mentioned, the select committee uh, voted to hold the former chief of staff, uh, Mark Meadows, in contempt. Uh, Mr. Meadows has shown uh, that he will not uh, cooperate uh, with, with the committee's work. Um, and we are, are now asking our colleagues uh, on the floor uh, to pass the same vote to hold him in contempt. Uh, he has no problem sharing details of his interactions uh, with the former president in his book, if you buy it for $25, but he does not want to come before the committee uh, to have those same conversations. Uh, the chairman also mentioned that we're going to uh, extend the full faith and credit of uh, the United States, uh, as well as dealing with uh, a bill to combat Islamophobia, uh, topics that are that are weighty uh, and important uh, and shows uh, the work that we are doing on behalf of the American people um, as we sprint toward uh, the end of the uh, calendar year. Uh, we're focused on these issues because it's right for the American people. And, you know, we would only hope with respect to the Islamophobia bill, uh, unfortunately, uh, our Republican colleagues are not willing to hold their uh, members accountable. And so, um, you know, while they continue to spew hate, uh, we're going to continue to legislate. And so uh, with that, um, well, we're happy to take some questions. Can I ask um, for both of you, but specifically for Representative Aguilar, since he sits on the 1-6 committee, um, we have now seen with C-SPAN and contempt of Congress uh, how that's moving forward. There's a trial now set for July. Are there concerns about the timeline here for the committee to be able to get their work done? If Democrats don't win the House again in, in 2022, I know that's theoretical, but if that happens, then the timeline will be cut off if Republicans don't allow the committee to continue its work. So can you talk about the timeline and what concerns you have about getting the information you need to put out a full report? Yeah, I'll disagree with your 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 political analysis, but but let's talk about the work ahead. Um, what we've said loud and clear is that we're going to generate a report. We're going to have public hearings. Uh, we're going to do all of that uh, next calendar year. I'm not worried about the the the, the content um, and the quantity of the information uh, that we're receiving. We continue to have robust cooperation uh, from hundreds of individuals who have firsthand knowledge of the uh, attack on the United States Capitol on the sixth and everything that preceded that, from the pressure campaign uh, to the rallies on the 5th. Uh, all of that is within the scope uh, of House Resolution 503 that that, uh, that we championed and, and worked toward. Um, but we're having a lot of those uh, conversations. We're hearing from a lot of witnesses. Uh, so our work is not going to be impeded. And so just because you see a couple people who were not cooperating, uh, that that's not accurate because there are dozens and hundreds uh, that are. And so we're going to continue to get that information as evidenced by uh, the information that Mark Meadows himself produced back when last week when he was cooperating uh, with the committee before the president uh, told him uh, not to cooperate in public uh, and then suddenly he uh, stopped uh, cooperating with us on the eve of his uh, announcement of his uh, book deal. So uh, those are those are what we're dealing with but um, uh, we're pleased with the level of information uh, and there are going to be continued threads that we pull along the way. Do you hope to have a report out before um, the 2022 midterm? We'll have a report out next calendar year. Yeah, I'll, I'll simply just add, there, there was a clear effort to overthrow the United States government on January 6th and in the weeks leading up to that fateful day. The January 6th Select Committee will get to the bottom of what happened, why it happened, and how do we prevent a violent attack on the Capitol and insurrection from ever happening again in our democracy? Aaron. I also had a question for Mr. Aguilar on January 6th related stuff, if I may. Um, what was the committee hoping to 
hoping to communicate by sharing the text messages between mark meadows and specifically the ones during the attack where people were trying to get in touch with him to get in touch with